Enrolling in college isn't something you do on a whim. You want to be thoughtful about it and take time to prepare. That often means putting plans into motion during your junior and senior years of high school. We are talking now about specifics from Metropolitan Community College. Jennifer Wynn, G. Diamant, and Aubrey Baxter. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. Um, I, I love this conversation because I feel like we're unearthing a lot of really important information where parents are like nudging their kids. Hey, you can't figure this out on graduation day. So maybe that that visit, the college visit is a smart place to start. When should we look at scheduling that? I think it's a great idea for juniors to visit in the springtime mm -hmm. and seniors if you haven't visited yet it's a great time to get out there now. Mm -hmm. And I know at MCC you can go online and request a visit right on our main website. Mm -hmm. We've got the uh, website on the bottom of the screen right now. Maybe easy enough to remember otherwise just jot it down. Yeah. So what are some of the things that once we we get there uh, some of the things that we should look for, some of the questions that we should ask during that visit, what would you recommend? Sure, um, so when we do tours, I'm the trades enrollment specialist, so mm -hmm. that's kind of what I focus on. Uh -huh. And the most important thing we talk to students about is to figure out what you're passionate about, figure out what you're gonna love to do. Um, we've all had that job before where every morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I really don't wanna go here. Uh -huh. um, but if they figure out what they really love to do, they can come in and um, Metro's a great place to do that. But um, we're affordable, we're accessible, um, we have 200 programs that students can get involved mm -hmm. with, so um, it really is a great place for students to be. And just ask questions, feel comfortable about mm -hmm. it's not a one-way street, right? right? It's not just about you saying, here's where you'll find this building, here's what it's like during, you know, I mean, right. it's sort of like you want them to ask questions exactly. and make sure that it's the right fit for them. You want to know class size, mm -hmm. you want to know are, how am I going to get there, how am I going to get back. I know at MCC we offer uh, a pass to class, which is free rides to get to school. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. um, faculty, am I going to be able to get help from instructors uh -huh. after class, resources? Uh, the academic writing center, do you, you know, for people that struggle with math, is there going to be a math resource room available, uh -huh. things like that. Uh -huh. And then financial aid, scholarships, that's the other part of this. I mean, you spoke to affordability, mm -hmm. um, but for some students, they're going to need help. Um, yes. So at, at what stage um, in this planning process, you know, do they need to start applying and looking at some of those resources? So they can do their FAFSA starting October 1st mm -hmm. uh, for the next school year. Okay. So students are able to get on fafsa.gov and complete that um, mm -hmm. right from the website. Um, and MCC, we're $64 a credit hour, mm -hmm. whereas some other college universities, it's two, $300 a credit hour. Uh -huh. And so um, even if students don't want to get their full associate's degree with us, it's a great place to get some gen eds out of the way and, mm -hmm. and transfer them onto a four-year. Well, and I think you'll be really, if you haven't plugged into MCC in a while and you think, well, you know, when I was in high school, this is what it was like. The amount of growth that has happened is incredible, and I want to touch on that before we let you go, because I feel like you've opened it up to a lot of other people. But I, when I was coming out of high school, um, I wanted to be an engineer, and that's where I started, but that wasn't really where my passion was. Right. You know, and then I, thankfully, I sort of, I found my way into a job that was a, was a better fit, but do students need to know, I mean, starting out, that pressure of somebody saying, what do you want to be? Do they have to know the answer to that on day one? Absolutely not. I always tell students, seniors, this is, the most stressful part of your life because everyone's saying, what are you going to do for the rest of your life? What are you going to do uh -huh. for the rest of your life? And that's a big question to answer. And they feel answer. obligated to, to exactly. know the answer. And you don't have to. You can start out with general education classes that you're going to need no matter what major you choose in the mm -hmm. end. And then there's a lot of intro classes that are going to give you a feel for what that major is going to be. Uh huh. So figure it out as you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And work with financial aid, work with your academic advisor uh -huh. to make sure that Ev that you know your money is in the right order for financial aid uh -huh. and that you don't take classes that you don't need but there are plenty of classes that you can take that are gonna work for any major that might be another question that you ask during the tour which services are available to help my student my son or daughter figure out what they want to be exactly mm -hmm. at MCC I know that we have the Career Center and we have a lot of online resources available for current students alumni and st and prospective students, people who haven't even decided on their college mm -hmm. yet maybe, but they can go on there and s take different assessments and see, oh, I'm gonna be interested in this major. This is, you know, I'm really interested in nursing. Mm -hmm. And it will tell you with your personality what is great. And we also have, um, 
college career navigator, or excuse me, I'm sorry, uh -huh. uh, career success navigators who will help you um, discover what it is that you want to yeah. do. Because you, you you don't know what you don't know. Right. Right. So you use some of these tools, these free resources to kind of dig around, figure it out before you start putting money into a program. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, making that call to my mom, I was terrified. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. And my family was like, thank goodness. We were waiting <laughs> yeah. for you to figure out what the rest of us exactly. already knew. Yeah. Um, I, I did mention some of the, the new buildings through Metropolitan Community College. I mean, it, the the expansion is incredible and it's so exciting to think about what it means for students now, students to come. What is it what does it affect in terms of what you can offer to students? Well we have three new buildings going up. Mm -hmm. We have the Academic Skills Center which is going to be amazing. It's kind of the first stop for students. Um, it'll be a great welcoming area for our students to come in. We have the Center for Advanced and Emerging Technology going up and then the building that I'm most excited about is the Construction Education uh -huh. Center. Um, it's going to be a hundred thousand square feet um, amazing opportunities for our students to come in together and they have a capstone lab where they're going to build a fully functioning house um, plumbing electrical HVAC they're all going to work together and and build a house mm -hmm. so um, real world experience, hands-on experience, working as a team, it's just, it's going to be amazing. It is state-of-the-art and you think about some of these incredible companies that are based in Omaha and some of the students that they're going to be able to hire because of w right. what they're learning at MCC and what they're able to, to do right out of college. Uh, Two-year and four-year degrees, uh, we don't have much time. Sum up like how you know which to go for, Could, maybe not both are right for everybody. Yeah. I think it's going back and looking at the class size again, making sure that the credits that you take are going to transfer with you. Uh -huh. If you want to earn that bachelor's degree, you can start at Metro. Really, you can start at yeah. MCC and go anywhere. Save the money. Save mm -hmm. the money here, and then right. if you have to transfer, or you might be able to do it all at MCC. Right. Um, the phone number, you're like, what happened to the area code? That is right. That's here in Omaha. We're mm -hmm. growing, so our phone numbers have to expand as well. We'll send you to 531-622-2400, but the website, and we showed you that a few times with all those tiles where you can just get in there, rock and roll. Your students are going to have some time off here around Christmas, have a little bit of a break. Um, if they're juniors, certainly if they're seniors, uh, they've got to be thinking about it so they are set up and ready to go once they do graduate. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you nice so much. You. And no, they did not call each other. They just happen to match. <laughs> they do it all the time. Next, opening gifts that themselves are meant to